of the Barrel from Istanbul, Turkey, number 21, Cool J. Gooch Tekin. 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 They're calling me Gigi most of the time because I think it's kind of easier. I've had to practice so many times even to say her name properly. It's such a beautiful name. Gigi is from Turkey. She's from Istanbul, which is where we actually got to visit this year on our European tour. I was told with Kelly like, oh my god, like we're going to Istanbul, my country, my city. I told my family and they were like, oh my god, yes. This is the first time we're gonna watch it as live. I prepared a presentation about Turkey, all the culture, uh, food, people, teams, volleyball, and life in there. Good night. We go to our hometown, and there's just so much joy of being able to show off a place that she loves. I just remember when they all walked up and we were all on the bus and just the smile on her face. She got to show us around all the different places. We got to play against some of the people that she played against. We got to see some of the places she's played at, which was incredible. It's the first time they're watching you as a badger. I want to play good for them. I want to like create them a show. Volleyball is a really big deal in Turkey. A huge following. A lot of people know who she is. Her family, I think, got to see her serve for the first time because you don't get to serve in international competition. And to hear them cheer after an ace just made us all smile. You saw a difference in her. You saw a an unbridled enthusiasm in her. And when her parents met up, they had the same thing. They were just so excited to share. I'm glad they met my family because we're in here after the games. Everybody's family is in here, but my family never able to get this chance. She was just so comfortable with all of it and being our little tour guide. It's some of the hidden stories of college athletics. It's cool to see them light up the way that they do, to see her light up the way that she does. I have no idea about Madison, <laughs> Wisconsin. I just fall in love with the volleyball in here. I watched the games and I was like, wow, like this atmosphere of fans, like volleyball, it's really inspiring me. It just shows how much she cares about Wisconsin. That's a huge leap of faith to leave your family, go to a place you've never been before. I was in uh, Madison for a while. It was a really big earthquake in Turkey. So many people lost their home, lost their life, watching the news in here. It was so sad for me. You could see a switch that flipped. I've got a platform here. She felt like she had to do something. Not just raising money, which she was able to do, but I think also raising awareness. I have a Turkish friends in here. It was so hurtful for us, and we decided to fundraising for Turkey. I felt like I have a voice, and I wanted to do something for my country. I think that just says a lot about who she is as a person. She's so incredibly selfless. I won her Severance Awards, and I feel very proud of it. This is like so important for the humanity because we're at the end, we're all human and we just like trying to help each other. I think what she was able to do last year was amazing. She gets here, she'd never been to the United States before. People are in here very welcoming. They say like Midwest uh, hospitality or something. When she first got here, we didn't necessarily realize what she had in her. 
and then she puts this winged eyeliner on and it's like it's go time. She just brings a whole lot of fire to the court and you just see this like look in her eyes and it's just I'm ready to compete. I am like from the Turkey first person that plays for the Wisconsin. I'm glad to show in the all the girls my life and adventure in here because this is a really, really good opportunity for the older girls around the world. 